This is the original picture. And these are the final outcomes. So let's get started. First of all, I am opening the file in Photoshop. Now select the crop tool and crop the image. Now take any of the selection tool to separate the image from background. I am using the quick selection tool. After selecting go to refine edge. Keep the radius between 5 to 7. Output it to new layer with layer mask. Create a new layer below the active layer. We will fill this layer with white. For this, press Ctrl plus delete. Now hold shift key, and click the top layer to make it active as well. Convert it to smart object. Now make two new layers. Fill the bottom layer with white. Hide the top layer and make layer 2 active. Now select your brush tool. I'm using a specific brush platter for this tutorial, I will provide its link in the description. Pick a bright color to make a stroke. Now creates a few more new layers. We will fill each with a different color stroke.
Now select the layers with stroke. And press Ctrl plus E. Now press Ctrl plus J twice, to make two copies of it. Make the image active. Now go to Image, Adjustment. Select Threshold. Press Ctrl plus A. Now press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Create a folder. Then add a layer mask to it. Now hold the Alt key and click on the layer mask. Press Ctrl plus B. Now press Ctrl plus I to invert the layer mask. Make the splatter layers active and place them into the top folder. Now hide the bottom subject. Now we will adjust the size and angle of the splatter layers. For this select a layer, and open the transform tool pressing Ctrl plus T. So this is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe.